This morning's Coffee With is with Alfred Woodard and Talitha Bateman. And the satellite interview is furnished by Good Deed Entertainment. Talitha, Alfred, welcome to WJZ in Baltimore. Good morning. Yeah. How you ladies doing? <laughs> It is a good morning now. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, that's that's all the so be it fans. Uh, I've already told the audience about the uh, the book and and how we've come to this point. Uh, Alfred, let me just start with you for a second. Cliff, you know you're sitting next to a legend, and I'm not blowing smoke here, but your resume, Alfred, speaks for itself. You've done so many wide and varied projects, but this is such an endearing story, on so many different levels. How happy were you? Uh, to be a part of this. I was so grateful to be asked into this film. First of all, because I've longed to work with Stephen Gyllenhaal. Uh, he is a brilliant filmmaker, and I knew about Sarah Weeks' book. One of the things, I choose work based on what the story is. I consider myself and other real actors storytellers, and so to be able to actually have a script that is a story, a story has to be about human beings, characters, living together, re reacting, you know, having some conflict, gaining from that. And so you don't get, most of the time when you look at scripts, uh, it's kind of events, but this, this was, this was a story that I think uh, was meant f to fall on human beings' hearts and to have them be reflective and hopefully bring something wonderful to their lives. So I jumped at the chance when I, because first thing I said was, well, I don't know how you're going to find Heidi. This is a tall order, this role. And they said, Talitha Bateman, let, let us tell you about her. And that's when I met this genius young woman. Talitha, let me ask you, what did you learn from Alfred about your craft during the making of this project? Uh, there are actually many things I learned I, throughout the first beginning process. I feel like I really learned she took everything so seriously on set. Like every single scene, we she wanted to focus beforehand. I think that really helped with my character because I could appreciate that more and more each and every day. I knew that she, if I had to do a serious scene, I knew that she would already be in character and ready to go. So I thought that was really unique because some actors kind of just fill it in sometimes that I've worked with, and just with her, she would just she took everything very seriously, and I think that was really. Like very cool, and I, and I, I can see where you would have to focus. You 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 you're dealing with a mother who has a 22 word vocabulary. You you go off on your own on a mission of self discovery. I Miss mean, pretty tall order for a young woman. Yeah, actually the role was very challenging. I was extremely nervous to work on it at first, but mostly excited because. Like Alfrey actually said earlier, just these roles are the best ones. They're like a feast. You're excited to work on them because you get to show so much, through so much range throughout that character. You really get to fall into such an incredible storyline. So I thought that was really cool. I was really excited to work on the project. Now, kind of a reverse question, Alfrey. Again, you, you've had this tremendous resume, but now all of a sudden you're working with this young lady. Did you feed off her energy? Oh my goodness, yes. Okay, it's not just because she's young, but you have to be gifted. You have to be young and gifted uh, for this to work. But what it does, when you, when you work with a true artist, in the beginning, it is, it's like kind of like vampire, I shouldn't say this, but it's like it taps into your remembrance of freshness. It's like, yeah. Yeah, and so you get back that, you know, remember when, oh, this is kind of, you know, tangential, but when Magic Johnson first came into the NBA, remember he was so excited because he came in with that college ball kind of excitement about the game, and he would jump around and jump on Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who was kind of <laughs> stepping like, okay, calm down. But he brought the fun, he brought the excitement about yeah, we're here. Let's do it into it. So when you work with a young actor, you 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 can't phone it in because you remember you go like, yes, yes, I've been toiling at this for 45 years, but <laughs> I see myself in you, and I'm and I'm feeding off that energy right now. So yes, I I got that from Talitha. She 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 made me um, she made me focus and lighter in a different way than if I was working with a. 
study 40 year old. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, our satellite time has run incredibly short. We've got to run. Can't wait to see it. Congratulations, both of you, on a, a well done and completed project. We hope to see you again soon. Thank you Thanks, so much, Marty. Marty. Pleasure. Have a great day. You betcha.